Hi you guys, this is Jamie from Whatever's Clever Boutique. Thank you guys so much for coming back today for another Tumblr tutorial. Today we are going to make a tumbler using some of the glitters from the March Peachy Palette. This is 80s Babe, it is a fine glitter. Then we have this neon yellow called Techno. We have Radical, which is kind of a chunky mix. And then Screech, which is also a chunky mix, but with the bigger chunk. I've been trying to recently kind of draw out my designs as to what I'm thinking. I have quite a few people that I follow that do this and it seems to work really well. So I'm trying to make this a habit. So as you can see here, I'm gonna do a V split with Leopard on a 32 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia. And as you see me doing here, I'm gonna remove that bottom because we are gonna do a glitter booty. Then I'm gonna take my cutting tool from Dubis Designs on Etsy and I'm actually gonna use that to draw a straight line down my tumbler. And now to make my V, I'm going to measure from that center line there over to two and a half, and that's gonna be where my V ends on the top. And then same on the other side. Now I'm gonna take my tape, and the way I do my Vs, and everyone's different, is I basically use that center line and I eyeball to see if the distance from that line is the same from each line of the V. So as you'll see me doing here, I'm kind of adjusting. And then I didn't tape my tape down far enough so <laughs> to create the point of the V. So I'm having to kind of fandangle here. And this is, I'll let you kind of watch how I made that work. A little bit of trial and error, but we got there in the end. we go we finally got our V <laughs> now I'm gonna take a neon yellow acrylic paint as well as my black 3.0 paint and my wet and wild brush so I'm gonna start with the yellow and this is where we're gonna put our radical glitter so right now I'm just laying a base coat of paint so that if there's any of the tumbler that potentially shows through it's not white Now for this, I'm gonna go in with my epoxy method for the glittering. You can totally use glitter glue, Mod Podge, whatever is easiest for you. But I'm gonna start by applying the glitter screech, which is the darkest, so if there's any cross-contamination, you won't necessarily be able to see it. So I apply that super fine layer of epoxy, and then I'm just gonna sprinkle that screech glitter all over that side of the tumbler. And being that this is a very chunky mix, I will glitter, I'll kind of shake it off, I'll glitter some more to make sure any loose pieces didn't fall off and leave some exposed epoxy. And then once I feel that it's good, I tap that off with my little pen there and then go in with the yellow side. Now, don't be me. Make sure you don't have glitter on your gloves. <laughs> as you can see here, I got some screech on the yellow side as I was epoxying. So I really had to work here to get those little pieces off because I didn't want them to show through. And once we get that all cleaned off, we're gonna take our radical 
and sprinkle that just right over that yellow section. Now I'm gonna wrap my tumbler in parchment paper. These are both chunky glitters and not pressing them down flat will cause so much headache when you go to apply your epoxy. So this way, as you can kind of tell just by looking at it, it's smoothed down almost completely. So really we should only need two coats of epoxy. Now we're gonna go in with our small V and we are going to base paint that yellow and then use techno glitter for this section. And to apply this glitter, I am going to use glitter glue just because it's so much easier to apply with a brush. Once I get that all applied, I let it sit for about 15 minutes and then I take parchment paper again and kind of flatten down that section that we just laid with the techno glitter. Once that's dried about two hours, we're going to go in and cover the entire tumbler with glitter glue to seal these glitters in. We don't want any glitter moving around and again, I made quite a few mistakes on this tumbler. Don't be me. Switch your brush when you move from your screech glitter to applying the glitter glue to your radical. Because <laughs> I did exactly what I told you we didn't want to do, which is cross contaminate. <laughs> As you'll see here, I have to take my little tweezers and pull some screech out of that radical area and get a new brush and start applying the glitter glue again. Once we have our glitter glue all applied, we're gonna let that dry for about two hours. And I'm gonna go in then with two coats of epoxy, just to be sure that our glitter is all covered up. So I got my inspiration for this tumbler from Mallory from Made by Manny and Mal. I saw the palette tumbler she created and it was absolutely stunning. I was like, I need to use those colors. But at this point, I wasn't super excited about what I was seeing. So I was bouncing ideas off of my friends, Rachel and Mallory. And Rachel from Mitten Made Craft gave me a great tip. She's like, if you want to pull the colors more in together, why don't you add some radical on top of your screech? She's like, just take some polycrylic. I used Quick Coat. Put a layer over the screech portion of your tumbler and sprinkle some radical on there. That'll avoid you having to apply a bunch more coats of epoxy by re-glittering. So I did just that. As you can see here, I laid some quick coat all over that black and pink section and then sprinkled some radical right over the top and then patted it down. And look at how much better that looks. It ties all the colors in together. I absolutely love how that turned out. So huge thank you to her. Once that's all dry, I'm gonna go back in with the quick coat and just apply her a layer of 
a plier, <laughs> apply a layer over the top to seal in that glitter. And then we're gonna go in with one more coat of epoxy just to get that all sealed in before we go in with our vinyl work. Once this epoxy is cured, I am gonna go in and do my sanding around the rim. And for the leopard, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So here we have neon yellow, and this is actually an offset of this teal leopard that, or leopard print that I cut out. Now I'm not gonna use all of it, so I just take a strip here and peel that back and layer that right on top of that yellow leopard vinyl. And as you can see there, it just kind of creates a layered effect for the leopard print rather than just a single color. And because I'm a little extra, I created a outline of the leopard print in a neon pink. And as you can see here, I'm gonna lay that offset leopard print as well as the outlines sporadically throughout the tumbler. This process did take quite a bit of time. I'd say I probably sat here for about 15, 20 minutes laying the leopard print. Um, a lot of the time went into separating that uh, outlined version of the leopard print, as you can kind of see I just did there. That took a while, but I wanted to salvage the inside of the leopard print for a project in the near future. So let's go ahead and speed this up and let you watch how the whole process panned out. Once I finish laying all the leopard print, we're going to go in with our pinstriping. And I do apologize, I forgot to push record when I did the pink stripes. But as you can see here, I'm going in with my nail tape and this is black over top of that hot pink that I already have laid down. And I'm going to do that on each portion of the V. Now for the decal, I use this super cute Beach Babe decal. It's in kind of a V formation, and I will say I went through a lot of different decal <laughs> options. Ultimately, I bounced all the options off of a couple of my friends to see if I couldn't gain some of their perspective, and this is the one we ended up choosing, and it's perfect. So, in no way, shape or form would any of the decals lived up to this standard <laughs> and once we get that laid we're gonna then go in with our glitter booty so for this i'm going to use prickly pear from peachy olive glitters as well as screech from peachy olive glitters and our resin rockers uv resin 
To start, I'm going to put a little bit of that UV resin into two medicine cups where we're then going to put our glitter and we're going to stir those up really well. Once we get those all stirred up, I'm going to take the green and that's going to go in my little outer ring. Then we're going to take Screech and that's going to go in our center. Then we're going to take our lighter and I'm just going to run that right over the top to pop any of those air bubbles. And then I'm going to go ahead and let that cure for about two minutes. Once that's cured, I'm going to go ahead and take my little acrylic tag from Missy Doodles and we're going to apply that just right to the center there with a little dollop of resin and we're going to let that cure for another 60 seconds. Once that's all cured, we're going to go in with our final coat of UV resin over top of the entire area. And then we're going to take our lighter, pop any of those air bubbles and then cure that for about three minutes. And here's what we come up with. I absolutely love that screech in the middle there. It is so perfect for this tumbler. And then that is it. We're gonna go in with two coats of epoxy to seal in all of that vinyl work that we did. And then our tumbler is finished. A huge shout out to Mallory Pegnata from Made by Manny and Mal and Rachel Harper from Mitten Made Craft who <laughs> were my backbone during this whole Tumblr process. So huge thank you to them. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you were able to learn a little something or gain some inspiration if you got this peachy palette. And hopefully it helps you come up with some new and creative ideas yourself. I will have all of the products that I used listed in the description box below, as well as some discount codes. If you enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe, or even hit that bell if you wanna be notified of any future tutorials. I will also have my social links listed below in the description box. I have a new makers group where I'm starting to post more and more. Uh, we're just becoming a community where we can bounce ideas off of one another. I let you know when peachy palettes drop or whenever any of the companies that I work with are having any sales, along with discount codes, all of that good stuff. So it's a good place to be and a fun group of ladies are in there. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask and I hope you guys all have such an amazing weekend.